Now to more stories. The State House Commander Colonel Seth Njai has told the visiting Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces Lieutenant General Yakub Itrame and his delegation that upon taking over in 2020, he initiated a restructuring program which included the formation of a 24-month training circle for his men, but a shortage of men, communication equipment and uniforms was also raised. Let's hear details of that in this report by Mafu Sise. The State Guard Battalion comprises personnel from the military, police, and fire service, all under one common structure. The battalion provides security for the head of state and his immediate family, and in any ideal situation, these men and women should have been enjoying certain special privileges that would be envied by their colleagues in other units. But instead, they find themselves in a situation where they are often lacking in basics such as communication equipment, proper transportation and uniforms. State Guard Commander Colonel Sednjai disclosed that when he took over in 2020, he prioritized the restructuring of the State Guard Battalion through such a program. More than 150 personnel, including 26 instructors, were trained on VIP protection, heavy weapons training and convoy operations, among others. Today, board members of the military and even economic forces and civilian stationed at State House have knowledge on fire management thanks to the fire service while acknowledging some improvements like the provisions of two troop carriers. Colonel Sen Njai also had some requests to make. We don't still have the required manpower that we envisage to have for the unit. So the number we have is still below the projected strengths. Communication is another problem for us, particularly uh, uh, handheld radios, because we need handheld radios a lot, particularly during operation when we are out there in the field. We need uh, so many of them to, to be allocated to the convoy and also to personnel that are deployed at various locations. Right now we have some, but they are still not enough. And we want to get some more in the near future from you, sir. Clothing is another problem. Our uniform stock is depleting greatly. Brigadier General Turo Jaune is the commander of the Republican National Guards. He warned the troops that the army will not condone a lack of discipline and that those found wanting will not be allowed to be simply redeployed to other barracks, but instead expelled from the army. The correspondence from your CEO here informing me particularly that this particular person cannot work with us simply because of indiscipline. This is something that is not acceptable. Now, for him, he was even very flexible because all that he would do is to transfer you from here to another unit outside where you come from. This, uh, this time around, we will say, no, once you are out from here, there is nowhere that you can walk. I hope you understand. This is a place that every one of you should take pride to walk here. It is not to say my right to come to State House. It's a privilege that you've been selected. Why? Because we thought you have that discipline. Rohibite Dabo. Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Defense said during the two weeks tour, they met and discussed with community leaders, religious leaders, and local authorities who commended the military for its discipline. Everywhere we go, meeting the communities, they will commend the military for the discipline, for the respect that they are showing them in terms of discharging their duties. They give them the support that they need as a community they involve in the settled exercises. And not only that, when they have their naming ceremonies, their gentis, when they are bereaved, the military is always there to support them. <laughs> the issue of discipline and command cannot be compromised in this institution. The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Yankuba Drame, 
call on his men to feel proud in serving their country in uniform, claiming that heaven is guaranteed for those who died while serving in uniform. He reminded the state guards of what he said was an unexceptional privilege to serve in the unit. Serving at the state house is an exceptional privilege. You were selected from a wide range of individuals with different expertise and different characters. And we felt perhaps your coming to the state guard could make a big difference in the performance of the state guard. In terms of discipline, in terms of teamwork, in terms of cohesion, in terms of providing the right security and timely security and protection for the first family. If you think you do not have those qualities, then the state guard is not meant for you. The visit to the state guard's battalion marks the end of a countrywide tour. Started on the 1st of November, which took the CDS and other senior military officers and delegation to military installation across the entire country. Mafuji Sise, I African News.